Hi, welcome back. I'm Joshua Fisher's Health Department here on Tuesday, September 7th, 2021 with our COVID-19 community update. So in terms of our new positive cases, our most recent seven day look back, we have seen a 10% decrease in new cases compared to the previous seven day look back period. So that is a slight positive note. There's still a high level of COVID circulation in the community. So we do recommend that everybody still takes every precautionary measure that they can. And the best method to protect yourself, loved ones in the community is to get the COVID-19 vaccine. In terms of our metrics, when we're looking at the primary metrics on a risk rating scale, the Hamilton County positivity rate for unique individual positivity is at 12.7%, so that's up slightly from last week. Our case incidence rate is a 14-day rolling average of new cases <clears throat> is at 41.07, so that is up slightly as well. And then our Fisher's testing site positivity has went down since last week to 6.24%. In terms of our secondary metrics, looking at testing availability, capacity, and turnaround and contact tracing, uh, we have expanded our testing hours. We have increased our testing staff and you can get a same day appointments at our testing site if you need it. You can also have the rapid antigen test in addition to the PCR and you're able to get the rapid test results within half an hour to an hour after testing. The PCR tests are continuing to be turned around in that one to two day time frame for city testing. The state testing is taking a bit longer than our city testing, and that's coming back in about two to three days. In terms of our contact tracing, we are seeing our contact tracing team just continue to exceed and excel as they have done this entire pandemic, notifying all close contacts um, who have come to contact with the COVID-19 case in less than 24 hours. So it's really great to see them able to notify individuals who have been potentially exposed to COVID so that they can take the appropriate measures to protect themselves and those around them. In terms of the healthcare system capacity, the ICU bed availability has gone up slightly compared to last week in our district, that is IDOH District 5. The daily hospitalizations, we are still seeing that upward trend and we're still around that point in time that we were last January. Um, but overall, it is nice to see the cases have slightly decreased this week compared to last week, but we still remain in this level three category in terms of risk rating. So everybody does need to take as many precautionary measures as they can to protect themselves, their loved ones, and the community that we love. And we know that the best method of protection is to go out and get the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, thankfully, we have seen an increase in uptake in the vaccine recently. Uh, we have seen since the beginning of August, we've seen about 2,500 individuals who have been eligible for the vaccine but had not yet received it to go out and get their vaccine in the last month. And that is an uptake and an increase that's over the number of people that were newly vaccinated in July. So we still have roughly around 16,000 individuals in our community that are eligible for a vaccine but have not got vaccinated. If you are one of these individuals, we do ask that you please highly consider going out to get the COVID-19 vaccine. If you have questions about the vaccine, the efficacy, the safety, anything of that nature, if you have any questions at all, please call us at 317-595-3211. We would love to <clears throat> speak with you and help you make the most informed decision that you can. Again, every action counts. Our best path forward is to have everybody get vaccinated so that we can help overcome this COVID-19 pandemic here locally.